What's going on guys? Welcome to Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video. And in this video we're going to be talking about how to download the Chinese version of Brave XVS. So, as you can see here, I've got a fresh install here, a fresh, uh, it doesn't have to be blue stacks. This is, just, uh, this is a clean installation of a new instance. So we're going to go ahead and go to the browser. Uh, go to browser here. I already have it open, but go to QApp, on Google, type in, on Google, just type in the Google search bar, QApp, go to QApp. Click on the egg, click download Q app to get that downloaded. Open it up. Yes, we want to install it. Let's get that thing installed. App is installed. It'll prompt you a bunch of things where you don't have to do any of that stuff, like log in via something or anything like that. You don't have to do any of that stuff. Just click out of it. Um, search for games. FFB. Uh, simplified. All right, here's the trick. Don't type in FFB. Uh, just type in Bra Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. Simplified Chinese is what you want. Get that installed. Yep. You want to go ahead and do that? Let it let it install. You want to install it? When it prompts up an installation prompt. Go ahead and get that installed. Let's open it. Get that thing open up. Yep. Well, you do a lot, just allow it to do all those things. It's not going to hurt you. If this is a clean installation, you have nothing tied to it anyways. Got to down some, download some stuff. Uh, if you if it's going really too slow and there's no progress at all after like maybe like five minutes, go ahead and get yourself a VPN, whatever VPN you trust, as long as it's a VPN. Go ahead and get that VPN and lock into China, of course. Uh, for me, for, mo for the most part, it doesn't seem to really bother, like I, I don't really seem to need a VPN, but there have been some people who said that they are having problems, so you may need a VPN, guys. Just so you guys know. Get the, get all this stuff installed, uh, just like any other Brave Exodus installation, you want to get that stuff installed and get ready to go and get into the game. Go ahead and click the button right here for our greet. i log in as guest. Go ahead and get through on it then after you get through that go ahead and start downloading the main game which i'm not going to sit here and you know sit here and wait for it to install so at this point if it starts being very slow for you guys go ahead and get that vpn go get a vpn guys it has to be a specific one for china so make sure you find a chinese version of a vpn because because some other vpns will not even connect to china so just so you guys know that and make whatever name you want. Make sure you click on this button here to make sure you uh, accept the terms of service. Of course you do. You read it, right? You read it. Make sure it doesn't matter what name you is. You can have an English name if you want. I have an English name on my Ch uh, Chinese version. I nothing bad happened to me. And the same, I have an English name on the Japanese version. Nothing ever bad happens to me. So don't be afraid. Of, don't be afraid of that, guys. And here we have Brave Exodus, guys. Brave Exodus is here on the Chinese Chinese version. Well, as soon as you would expect, you know, from, from any other version. And just go through the tutorial as normal. I'm not going to go ahead and waste time doing this here. If you know how to do the tutorial but not by now. So at this point, guys, as you can see here, I don't have VPN enabled. This is the point where you probably wouldn't want to put a VPN in. This is kind of a ridiculous amount of time. Uh, keep in mind that we are, we are downloading it through the Great Wall of Fire here on the Chinese version here. So VPN would solve all these issues. Go ahead and find yourself a VPN. Basically, we'll get this downloaded and we're gonna go back to the main menu and you're gonna it'll play Brave Exodus as normal. Click all your click all your items, click your lapis, uh, do explorations, because the Chinese version is more like the, the global version more than the Japanese version. So you guys that are playing global and wanna jump over to Chinese version, you guys will probably be right at home because I would say about 80% of the features in this game are from global there are some additional features that you're probably going to notice that you probably don't recognize uh including lapis farming uh there's a raffle I, there's a raffle thing involved when that's something you probably shouldn't even be looking at anytime soon um and things like that so there are some other things that are involved with the chinese version that are not on the global version but i would say 80 percent is there and 20 percent is other things like being able to skip summon animations like raid summons for example that's really useful 
So being able to skip raid summons, being able to use tickets on normal banners and in and, and, and amounts of 10. If you're watching my pull videos, you've heard priority to have seen you do that. Um, so there's that. There's a free pull every single day. So make sure you guys do that every day. And I think that's about wrapping it up. There's a lot of free lapis in there. So go out there and get the free lapis. There's a lot of free lapis when you start playing the game, doing story and stuff. So, yep. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any more questions, leave, leave, leave in the comment section down below or join my Discord because we have a Chinese chat section for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you. Hope this helped you out and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.